1960, the population of Nigeria was 46 million. UK that colonized us was 52 million. But by 2015, the population of Nigeria had risen to 185 million, UK 62. That is, in 55 years, we increased by 129 million because we were owing them 6 million before in people. And meanwhile, our infrastructure has not grown. It is said now that Nigeria will be 350 million people by 2050. I argue, I say, it's not possible. How can we? Will we be giving birth to children like we charge cards? Buy one, get four free. You call your son Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, public holiday. How can you be naming children like that? Then I saw newspaper January 1st, 2018. It said that the number of children that were born January 1st, 2018 were 20,210 in one day. In one day. That means in the end of 2018, we had 7,376,000 children added. You're laughing now. People thought it was a joke. When 2019 came, I checked how many children were born January 1st. My brother, 25,685. And these are children that were in hospital, not the one in churches not the one in villages so we are expecting 9.3 million children in added to our population this year stay with me it will sink very soon at the end of this year sir prof in two years we'll be having 16 million 671 children added to our country's population there is a country that my friend is the ambassador. His name is um, Ambassador Wanderlando, the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The whole country, everybody, is 1.3 million. And I told the man that if he tries me, I will just tell Nigeria to reproduce his country in three months. <laughs> Stay with me. I'm getting to my message now as you are laughing. Enjoy. They said there were over 201 million people. But people have forgotten to tell you that the land space per man is reducing. That seat you are sitting on now, you will have to compete with more people. Because as more children are coming alive, they need to sit down as well. It is also known that 90% of the Lake Chad water has finished. It has reduced. So because of that, the cows, agriculture in the north cannot continue. That singular thing alone should scare the whole of West Africa. Because when you hear that cows are moving down to the south, it's because they don't have water to drink. Now, when you don't build according to structure, when systems are not in place, anarchy is inevitable. You have Benway, Kogi State, as meant to be the food capital of Nigeria. If their farms and their, their districts are destroyed, what are we expecting very soon? Food scarcity is coming. If you think there is a problem now, wait for 10 years' time. I want to prepare you because we can no more be dependent on other people. We now need to wake up and work for ourselves. In the country right now, we have a lot of religious issues. Religious intolerance, tribalism, corruption... To a great extent, resource control issues, these are the problems we have in this country. And guess what? All of us came out naked from my mother's womb and we will go naked. How many beds can you sleep on part time? How many chairs can you sit on part time? How many cars can you drive part time? Right now, Nigeria, with 201 million, all the 17 francophone nations put together are 195 million people. We are bigger than 17 countries in Africa. All the French-speaking countries together, all, we are bigger than them. Land space per man is reducing every single day. Once a child comes, that means the land space per man has reduced. Now, somebody will say more people will buy. Where are the trees? Where are the gardens? 
they are turning them into houses. The forests are being chopped every single day. So what they did in certain countries was to reduce the number of children you can have. In China, they had to stop it. They can't have more than one, more than two. If you want to have a third child, you must show proof that you can manage a third child. They will not sell a car to you in China if you don't have parking space. That's the condition. Now, Nigeria, because of traditional belief, they tell you that if a girl does not give birth, she is like an elephant without tusk. So women insist that they must have get children. Now, currently, in 1960, our population was 52 million, was 46 million. Today, 201. 201. The buying power is not there. You have a high economic deficiency because leadership did not do what is right. You will hear people telling you that Africa will produce the next workforce of the world. I agree. If they are trained. If they are not trained, they will be transferring rebellion. Right now you have secret cults in schools in Ghana because Nigerians have exported secret cults to Ghana. Yes. The highest number of Yahoo Yahoo boys in Ghana are Nigerians. They are not exporting trade, they are exporting crime. Prostitution is at another level. Because of what? Hunger. Now, when the population of the country is growing, people have forgotten to tell you that Lake Chad, that was servicing four countries, the water has receded by 90%. So now, all the cows, they need water, they have to come to the south. That's what caused the Fulani headsmen issue. Because we did not prepare for this onslaught, it became necessary because the cows have to drink. They did not prepare for ranches. The cows have to eat. So they enter anywhere and they eat. Cows don't know whether it's somebody's house or somebody's estate. And if you kill a cow, a, a northerner respects his cow more than a house. If you kill that cow, you have killed him. He will kill you. So when the land space per man is reducing, is a problem. Secondly, with the introduction of technology, artificial intelligence, and internet revolution, it became one to 1,000. If you put an advert now, sorry, don't leave it, an advert now, that I'm looking for a young graduate who has the skills, who is motivated and do this now. You're shaking your head now. Yes, you shake your head because it's too much. You can say you can sell pure water to all of them, but the people don't have the money. So what did I do? And I said, instead of you teaching me to get, and the schools, the schools don't teach you to start a business. They teach you to look for a job. And there's no job. That's why it's becoming a threat. Because as you grow, whether you like it or not, you would want to eat. Either legally or illegally. Hunger is the gift of God to man. An eagle does not relate with chickens. If you are an ego, stop talking to chicken. If you are 20 years old and you are still in your father's house, it's a shame. I came to stare that nest. 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 Enough of enough.